name is William Mack. My friends call me Bill. I'm originally from Al Gordo, and I do stained glass for a living. I've been doing stained glass for 33 years. I specialize in repairs, restoration, and I'm a commission artist. Uh, I love my glass. I've been in Silver City for eight months. I was driving through, coming back from Tucson, found myself downtown, got out of my truck, and said, this is the place for me. And I went back to Tularosa, I packed up my stuff, and I moved here. And everybody was going, why Silver City? And I said, it's the best town I've ever seen. Seen or felt? Was there felt something? Both. It's mostly a feel with me. Because I drove downtown once, and then I parked my truck, and I got out, and I looked one way, and I looked the other. And I went, this place just has a splendid feeling. Um, and that's what, that's what got me here. And what got you started in doing glass work? Well, to begin with, uh, I was in the service. I got out of the service, and I was a commercial diver in California. And I got out of that, and I picked up a glass cutter in 1975, and I've been cutting glass ever since. You walked away from diving and that was it? Huh? I just walked away from it, you know. It wasn't conducive to the environment or the marine life or the ecology or anything along that line. And I just had, I just had no part of that, you know. Um, I just wanted to create things of beauty. That's what was important to me in my life. And uh, I've worked on all different kinds of glass. I've been a commercial residential glazer. Um, I've worked for many, many master uh, glazers, master artisans. I more or less self apprenticeship myself. Um, more, mostly, not so much by intent, but by accident. Because I'd work at one place for a certain kind of knowledge. And then I'd go to another place, and I'd work there. And then all of a sudden I realized that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. You know, I, I like glass cutting. It's a very, very physical thing. Uh, it lends itself well to me, about me. And I started working for these other guys. And uh, I just worked my, my way up the ladder. And it's probably one of the better educations that I got that you can get. Because I worked for some very, very mean, crusty, old gentlemen. And they taught me, they taught me the ropes. They taught, one thing they did teach me was discipline in my work. Uh, if you're going to do this job, you're going to learn the job. You're going to learn the aspects of it. You're going to learn what you're doing and why you're doing it. This is what they taught me. Uh, I worked for people that were master glazers, master painters, master builders. Um, I just worked for a lot of people like that. Um, and they were all, they were nice people, but they were, they were pretty, pretty gruff in regards to that uh, this is the way it's done. This is what I'm going to teach you. And if you can't do it the way I show you the first time, you're fired. And that's the way I worked. That's how. I, that's the people I worked under. And that's how come when I when I do my work here, people ask me, how come does it, how come it takes you so long to do this? And I say, well, I'm, I'm very disciplined. If I can't get it right the first time, then I'll go back and I'll redo it and I'll redo it until I get it to where it's supposed to be. Uh, after 33 years, sometimes I almost think I know what I'm doing. Can I read you a caption? Sure. Every time, this is what I read to myself when I think I've, I've done an exceptionally good job or I think I'm a hot snot, okay? Mm -hmm. This is by Frederick Carter. He's the man that puts steubing glass together. And it says, the artistry of Frederick Carter holds an important place in the history of American glass. An innovator who engaged in endless research while maintaining a working knowledge of every major glass making technique of the past 35 centuries. I've been doing glass for 33 years. 
sometimes I think I know a lot. And other times, I don't. So I'm looking forward to the next 33 years when I can gain as much knowledge and share as much knowledge as I possibly can.